Church in Christ, the text today is going to come from 1 John 2. I'm going to start at verse 20. I want to preface, preface this with outsource, outsourcing. Many companies outsource their products. In other words, they're in the manufacturing business, but then they turn around and outsource certain parts of their products. Maybe because it's cheaper. In some cases, it's inferior. But the point is, they put the name of the, their name on the product. And if it turns out less than what it was intended to be, it's inferior. And many of them are recalled or fall apart. And then it makes the manufacturer look bad. Well, in the realm of Christianity, many Christians outsource for their information. They settle. They get their information from man and not God. And as we're going to talk about today, and it's just a friendly reminder, folks, don't rip yourself off and don't rob God the opportunity to work through you. Let the Holy Spirit to get a, establish a strong relationship with the Father through his Son and let the Holy Ghost speak to you, guide you. And let that truth come forth from the throne of God, because the word of God is pure. The Bible tells you that in Revelation 22, 1. And um, James 3, 17 also makes mention to the fact that the wisdom from above is first pure. It's pure. It's unadulterated. It's not tainted with man's idea. Remember, the Bible says, John 6, 62, in that area, it is the spirit that gives life. The flesh profits nothing. Let's get let's get the enmity out of the way. In 1 John 2.20, but you have an unction from the Holy One, and you know all things. And when it talks about knowing all things, not only that, that of this realm and the carnal realm, but now you're able to have access to the things of God, the spiritual realm, which makes it complete. That's what all things are, are referring to. I have not written unto you because you know not the truth, but because you know it and that no lie is of the truth. Folks, when you're dealing directly with God and allowing the Holy Spirit to teach you, there is no lie involved. There's no uh, self-serving motive in that information from above except to build up the church, to build up God's people. That's what the Holy Ghost will do. It will give you the straight on honest truth. That's what sets you free. That allows you to walk in the spirit and not be limited by the flesh. And uh, I think of Psalm 78, 41, and that whole chapter of 78 talks about the wilderness experience. If you don't limit God, he won't limit you. But how often we limit him and we settle. I see so many people that just settle for what man tells them because as you see, no lie is of the truth, however, in verse 22. But who is a liar? But he that denies that Jesus is the Christ. He is the Antichrist that denies the Father and the Son. Carnal people will point you to a carnal answer. In other words, many false prophets preach in the name of Jesus. And how, oh, the, the, that matchless name, all the power. No, your Bible tells you just the opposite. Jesus Christ is the answer. Why do you think the enemy is referred to as Antichrist? He's trying to keep Christ and his name, his doctrine, out away from the church. And he can rob them blind. It's a spiritual COVID. And many people are quarantined and stuck in the realm of the flesh because of that. They don't know who Christ. Case in point, you go back to Matthew 16, 17. What was the whole, who was the Holy Spirit revealing? Well, we see that the Holy Spirit was revealing the inward, someone greater within Jesus and that, which was Christ. Thou art the Christ, blessed art thou, for flesh and blood have not revealed it. So the Holy Ghost is going to point you to the things of God, the realm of the spirit. Man's going to keep you limited to the things of the flesh. What a ripoff. And many, many of many believers just settle for what other so-called believers tell them. What mankind says, well, they have a big following. Or they're on TV, or, oh, it's got to be, right? Look at this guy got healed. A lot of these guys are just cheap hucksters, illusionists. 
Then verse 23, whosoever denies the Son, the same hath not the Father. But he that acknowledges the Son, the same as the Father also. Let that therefore abide in you, which you have heard from the beginning. Folks, when the Lord speaks to you, when the Holy Ghost speaks to you and enlightens you to the realm of the Spirit, don't let it go. Continue. Continue in the faith, grounded and settled. Don't be moved away. Don't settle for secondhand, regurgitated nonsense of man. It's all man is is an outward show. Look inwardly. You have the answer inside you. And if that which you have heard from the beginning and shall remain in you, you shall also continue in the Son and in the Father. And the Father reveals who the Son is, and the Son reveals who the Father is. you got to have them both together. It's a package deal. And this is the promise that he has promised us eternal life. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. So see, there again, when you go back to man, they're going to seduce. They don't know the truth. Man is limited. Man has a limited carnal mind. The Bible tells you in Romans 8, 6, and 7 to be carnally minded is death, spiritually minded is life and peace because your carnal mind, your limited lower nature is not able to comprehend the things of God. It's enmity. It will, it will, it, it operates in the realm of imaginations, which is an open door for the devil. Imaginations, things that aren't taking place. It's a lie. But how often do we imitate, uh, not imitate, but uh, entertain imaginations? And we sit there and listen to that and follow it. And the Bible says a stranger's voice, you, you will not follow. You should not follow that stranger's voice. He's going to take you on a dead end. Get out of your head. Church, get out of your head. Get into the heart. That's where God's operating. Quit outsourcing. Establish a personal relationship. Oh, the peace and joy and the strength. The, it builds confidence because you know that you know that you know that God is true and man's a liar. And verse 27, but the anointing which you have received of him abides in you. The answer is in you again. It's right inside you. And you need not that any man teach you. Let's get man out of the equation. Now, granted, don't sit there and take it to the extreme. I'll never listen to another person again. Yeah. As long as they're allowing the Holy Ghost to speak through them, and which he can, through anybody, actually. I mean, God can speak through any. We proved that in the Old Testament uh, with Balaam. But you have to rightly divide. You have to know it's the Holy Spirit. And that's where you have to build that trust and confidence. You need not that any man teach you, but as the same anointing teaches you of all things. So here we are again. The, the Holy Ghost is going to teach you all things. It can teach you the things of God, of the realm of the spirit, the heavenly realm. And is truth and is no lie. Let's get the lie. Let's get the lying part of the equation out of the way, which is us. Our, sometimes we're our own worst enemy. And even as it hath taught you, you shall abide in him, even as. So Mark 4 talks about that. With what measure you meet shall be measured unto you. I believe it's Mark 4, 25. So ladies and gentlemen, it's on the table. Salvation. The Holy Ghost was provided as a tool. Use it. Quit trying to dig a hole with your fingers and grab the shovel. Use the tools God's made available for you, or, or a front-end loader, for God's sake. Whatever, you've got the tools. I go back to uh, Romans 3. Romans 3, 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? I've had many people scoff the doctrine. Oh, the name of, the name of Christ, you're splitting hairs. Are you, well, that's what's revealed by the Holy Ghost. That's what sets me free. That's what allows me access to the name of Jesus Christ. One meteor between God and man. The man Christ, there it is, Christ Jesus. It's right there. God said it. I believe it. That, that's to establish it. That's all I need to know. Shall their unbelief make faith of God a, a, without effect? Verse 4, God forbid. <laughs> Folks, fight the good fight of faith. God forbid that I'm going to listen to the lies of the enemy. Let God be true. Allow God to be true. But every man a liar. And folks, every man, this this just in, ladies and gentlemen, hot off the press, every man is a liar until they come into agreement with God.
through the Holy Spirit. That's the simple truth. I'm, my mind will lie to me if I entertain my limited carnal thoughts. And if I doubt or let fear in, that did not come from, that spirit did not come from God. Every man is a liar that you might be justified as it is written, that you might be justified in thy sayings and overcome when thou art judged. You've got to overcome yourself. You've got to overcome that lower nature. It is, again, the spirit that gives life. The flesh profits nothing. Back in John 16, ladies and gentlemen, it talks about the Holy Ghost. Well, John parts of 14, there's verses 14, 15, but 16, 13. Howbeit, when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. So the Holy Spirit is not going to lie to you. He's guiding you into all truth. He's the only one, ladies and gentlemen, he's the only one that can guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. In other words, he's not self-serving. He's there to give you the information straight from the throne of God to build you up. He's not going to ask you for the largest donation you can give. He's not looking to get something out of you. He's looking to get something in you, to get you to look in and see what's available. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and shall show you things to come. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and show it unto you. Folks, that's the only that's the only true screening you'll get. You know, many people go to a movie, or there's uh, people that critics that'll go to a movie and they'll screen the movie and they'll determine what they saw. You need to go in there for a private screening for yourself, folks. You need to hear what the Holy Spirit has to say for yourself. Um, and even as you go back a little ways here in in John. John 15 talks about the Holy Ghost. John 14, I mentioned. Um, I don't know why I was turning pages here. John, this one, John 14, 26, this kind of thing. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, who the Father will send in my name. Well, we've established the name, Jesus Christ. It has to involve Christ. The complete name makes you complete. He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatever I've said unto you. That's why I get a chuckle and, and the stupidity. Well, Bible memorization, that's one of the big things going around. Bible memorization, you got to remember the Bible. No, the Holy Spirit, because that's coming from the heart. That's coming. That's God speaking through the Holy Ghost. That's the answer you want to get, not from the head. Oh, I got to be mad. No, no. Get the head out of the way. The carnal mind is enmity. Get into the heart. Let the heart renew the mind, the peace of God, which past understanding shall keep the heart and mind. Starts in the heart and then, re then uh, reminds you who you are in Christ. Ephesians 5. Six, let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things could the wrath becomes the wrath of God upon the sons of disobedience. And Revelation uh, 21 8 tells you that all liars are not going to make it. They're on the outside. They're not going to make it into his kingdom. He's not going to allow a liar. Folks, don't lie. And don't lie to yourself. And don't get ripped off. And here's I go forward in Colossians. Uh, 2 verse 8 beware you know you, you go up to a house and it says beware of dog well here beware of man big sign beware lest any man oh here it is again we got man involved get get the carnal man out of the way beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit and by the way as a friendly reminder including ourselves we can be deceived by listening to our carnal mind, imaginations, again, through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the godly head bodily, and you are complete in him, which is the head of all principality. Part. Go to the head of the class. Get your information straight from the throne. It's pure. Um, Psalm 11611, David even wrote, all men are liars. I've, I've come to the conclusion, all men are liars. And they are, including yourself. Church, let God be true 
let man be the liar and let the Holy Ghost teach you because in his realm there is no lie. God bless and keep the faith.